Always prepare the ground for the undercarriage before lifting. Avoid standing in a hole or on obstacles when lifting. When lifting and slewing, the center of gravity can change and you could lose control. Make it a rule to use the outriggers and blade as a support when lifting. If you have outriggers on the undercarriage, you are able to level yourself to a certain extent. The outriggers as well as the blade can be used individually. The toggle switch must be activated for each support, which can smoothly be moved up and down using the joystick on the left-hand console. If you only have a blade as a support, you can operate it directly using the separate joystick. If you have a quick fit, disconnect the bucket. Your lifting capacity is now increased and you will be able to see better, for example, in a trench box. Refer to the operator manual or information given in the cab as to the lifting data your excavator is capable of handling. Never go above the maximum weights given in the documentation. You could be placing those in the vicinity of the excavator and yourself at risk. You could also severely damage the excavator. Communicate with the people outside the cab who are helping you. It is essential that they know what to do and that you all have a clear understanding of what is happening. Check the function of the locking lip. Let those outside the cab check the lifting device or even better, do it yourself. The lifting device should be a proof of the weight involved and all pins and such like should be secured with split pins. Use the lifting hook in the quick fit and make sure the locking device in the hook closes the lifting eye in the hook. Check that your colleague outside the cab is doing the job correctly. The lifting procedure should only be started when you get a signal from him or her. Always use low revolutions to better control the lifting operation. Many times with a wheeled excavator, it is necessary to travel with the weight. Take up the undercarriage supports and try to avoid slewing with the superstructure. Keep the weight along the undercarriage and over the rear axle. Start travelling slowly which will minimise any oscillation. Should you be given new instructions from the site manager, lower the weight to the ground before leaving the cab. Never leave the excavator with a weight or full bucket in the air. It is dangerous and should never happen. Do not forget your hard hat when leaving the cab. Another tool is to use the overload warning device. Press the switch on the control panel. This switch will warn you by means of a buzzer and warning text on the display. Refer to the operator manual for more details. If you are not equipped with hose rupture valves, then you won't have the overload warning device. We strongly recommend that you only lift with excavators equipped with hose rupture valves. Without these valves, you are unable to stop the load from falling should a hose burst during a lift. Do not jeopardize the safety of those in the vicinity of the excavator. The valves can be ordered as an aftermarket kit. <laughs>